Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to, as you can see above your head, the Russian League gem. We've got an inform from this week's team of the week and I wanted to share him with you. I bought this guy on the night that he came out and he was very cheap and I thought, you know what? He's an absolute gem. He needs to be in a squad builder of mine. Today's episode is going to be powered by my sponsor Elgato Gaming and the HD60 capture card and the HD60S capture card, which is the new thing out on the block and you guys should pick it up if you're interested in recording and capturing your own gameplay, making your own YouTube videos, that sort of stuff. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Let's get into today's squad. So we will start this false nine team off with a goalkeeper, as we always do. We're going for the 85 rated Hugo Lloris today. Um, he is an upgraded goalkeeper. He's absolutely fantastic. Definitely in my top 10, probably in my top five goalkeepers on the entire game. Um, Playing for, of course, Spurs, who are doing so well this season and still have a chance at winning the Premier League. Whether it will happen, I don't know, but I'd prefer Leicester to win it, in all honesty, as a neutral. Um, Koke Koke goes in at right back today. Uh, he is 80 rated. He's a pretty average right back. Not that amazing on the pace side of things. Not that brilliant on the defense side of things. But I needed him for chemistry, and I have to say he did an all right job. Then we've got Yanga Mbiwa coming in at centre back today. Uh, you could use anyone for it. Needs to be a French player from Lyon because we need to get a perfect link with our CDM in just a moment. We've then gone with upgraded Chris Smalling to keep the price down. Uh, he's not that expensive and he's an absolute gem of a centre back. Ridiculously good. Loads of pace, loads of defending physical, and he's tall as well. Uh, and then Luke Shaw is a perfect link to him. 77 rated, of course. Decent pace. Uh, he's a big guy as well, six foot one, and he gets up and down the wing really nicely and performs nice and good in your squad so that is our defense it's not a bad defense and I actually got on very well with all of those and um, we move up to the midfield now we've got a couple of informs and a non-rare gold the non-rare is uh, Nacho uh, who I believe last season had like a team of the season um, but he's pretty well rounded across the board not amazing stats but I have to say he was a very hard worker and I like that about him uh, we've then got Tolisso's inform going in at CDM. He plays more like a centre forward sometimes, which I guess is a bad thing. But actually, he's a great performer and such a strong player on this game. And he wins the ball. He's kind of like a Ramirez in the French League, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, and then Nzonzi goes in. Inform Nzonzi plays in the La Liga. Um, one of the... Well, I know I keep saying the word gem this video, but he is an absolute gem this year on the game. Um, he's cheap and I get dicked by him all the time on the ultimate team. He scores goals. He's just everywhere. He is that good of a player. We then got Inyaki Williams, upgraded card, coming in at right wing. 76 rated. These stats aren't as good as his silver in form. If you were looking to boost the price of the team, if you've got loads of coinage. And then we've got Ahmed Musa, who is a week one or a week two in form, I believe. 94 pace is his main stat, but he's got good dribbling, good shooting and four star skills. And then the main man, Roman Eramenko, who is a Finnish attacking midfielder. He's an absolute god. Um, he's really, really good on this game. And he's super cheap. I bought him on the Wednesday night that he came out and I made this video in advance. Uh, and he was 32k then, so I dread to think what his price is right now. He's probably basically discard price for you guys. So that's an absolute like ridiculous price for a ridiculous player um i really enjoyed using him he's definitely a focal point in this team you do your best to get the ball to him because he's got the ability to finish uh, and he is a player that i'm going to be talking far more in depth on on the footwiz channel for today's player of you so make sure you go ahead and click in the top right corner because in just an hour's time or whenever you're watching this it may be live um i will talk about in depth uh, roman eramenko and give him a good player of you for you guys over on the footwiz channel um, we, that was a pretty cool goal, by the way. That little, that little back flick there. I thought it was going to go in, but then, you know, it was a little bit dodgy. But it was one of those cool goals that you don't score very often. Um, I would say one in every three of my squad builders, I score like a goal where I'm holding LT and I get some sort of skill finish, which I think is not too bad. I need to up my skill game a little bit like Kazooie and get some sick goals for you guys. Um, but someone who can provide that is definitely Roman Eremenko. He scores like long shots, finesse shots, Definitely one of those players who receives the ball on the edge of the box, scoops it, and then smashes it like 
brilliant at that sort of stuff. Um, and he's a good passer of the ball as well. So you can use him as an attacking midfielder, as a catalyst player to play it out to your wingers and to your striker and stuff. Or he can be the main man. And that's what I prefer to do um, because I just I just had to score some goals with this guy. I was very excited as soon as I saw his inform was going to be in this week's team of the week. Um, and also this week, we've got the likes of like Ben Arthur and Ben Yedda, who most probably you've already seen a squad builder from me on those. Um, so it's just an, an all-round good week for some pretty cheap inform cards who are known as like gems on the game. Like Ben Yedder is definitely one of those players who outperforms the rating of his card so much. Um, and we need more players like that on Ultimate Team. So if you know of any that maybe not so many people know about, of course, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Um, or anyone that you would like me to do a squad builder around or maybe like an episode of the FootWiz or Foothead randomizer around, of course, let me know down below in the comments. We're coming towards the end of the video. We've just got loads more goals of Aramenko coming up. Um, if you have enjoyed today, then make sure, of course, you smash a like uh, and uh, subscribe if this is the first video of my that you've seen let me know down below in the comment section what type of videos you're looking for in the coming um, weeks and stuff with team of the season just around the corner i'm sure um, but thank you so much for watching have a great day and i'll catch you next time guys peace